and we are live for the first time on a saturday instead of uh, my regular sundays but i try i'm trying to better my life and uh, i'm trying to take some time off because in the last two and a half years i have been working every single day for one or two shifts let's call it this way not because I have to, but just because I love to. I love everything that has to do with phone therapy. I love to develop new programs, new courses, new products, but it all takes a lot of time. And now I'm starting to feel that um, working seven days uh, on seven, being uh, standby 24 seven, it's starting to have a, a price on me. So, here I am, and uh, I'm going to tackle all these questions that I have received. So the first question is from Sonia, and she has this uh, model of torch from Dr. Brian McLaren. This torch has been for sale from 2000, the end of 2010, beginning 2011, if I remember well, till 2016. So, and she has this torch and she writes, can you please tell me if there's a difference between my original red light torch from Dr. McLaren and the new ones? If so, what's the difference and or benefit of the new ones? Okay. So this is the original torch and depending on um, when you got it, it will have a medical LED chip inside of 500 milliwatts or 700 milliwatts. At a certain moment in time, uh, Dr. Brian McLaren uh, had to put a 700 milliwatts in there because there were no 500 milliwatts available anymore. Although we don't need any more strength and we don't want any more strength. Nowadays, uh, we have the uh, option uh, of getting the 500 milliwatts again and that's also what we're working with. But so this original torch has only one mode and that's the 500 depending on the year, let's just say that it's the 500 milliwatts, okay? So what we know is, though, that acupuncture points, they want to be whispered to. They don't want to be knocked with a strong light on, okay? They want a, a softer light does them better. So that's why I developed the, after Dr. Brian McLaren passed, and Rob McLaren uh, asked me to continue the life work of uh, Dr. Brian McLaren, I worked on developing a new torch that would be a lot smaller, as you can see. Easier because it has rechargeable batteries, only one battery, no charger, not, not all these problems, and just one big, strong battery. And on the other hand, this torch has three modes. The first mode, 200 milliwatts, we use to torch specific acupuncture points because they want to be whispered to. Second mode is the 500 milliwatts that we need in two situations. We need it to torch locally, to work as a painkiller and uh, relieve the pain. And on the other hand, we also need the 500 milliwatts to torch on the back of the horse where the aorta comes the closest to the skin to put energy straight into the blood vein. And that, for example, we would use when Imagine the horse, this happens more frequently in the Netherlands, for example. Um, they have little ditches in between the fields with water in, and the horse or even cows would fall in there. They go down in there to drink, and then they fall in there, okay? So, and then they try to get out. And by trying to get out, they really are exhausting themselves. And then sometimes the animal will not die because they have drowned in there but because they became so exhausted of trying to get out, they have no strength left. Now, in a case like that, when you have an animal that has had an accident or that has, be, uh, that has fallen and can't get up, has been locked in, 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 in a specific, very hard situation, you want to be able to bring the energy straight into the bloodstream. So that's why you want to be able to torch on the back of the horse straight into the bloodstream, straight in uh, to give him the necessary energy to recuperate, be able to stand up, want to eat and drink again and not give up. Okay? <coughs> Hold on. I should have drank my tea before I started. 
Okay, so and then the third mode is the pulse mode. The pulse mode we use in several situations. The pulse mode we will use for any uh, wound that has great difficulty in closing up, then we will use pulse mode. We will also pull, use uh, pulse mode to stimulate the melatonin in the body. Melatonin in the body, it is not just to help us sleep well that we use the melatonin or that we need melatonin. It is also that it has shown, uh, science has shown that the melatonin production is important for the brain function. So we want to avoid dementia and all these problems. So that's why we need our melatonin to be up to date. And that's why we need to torch it with the third mode on the pulse. So in other words, in short, this torch has one mode, straight light, no pulse. This torch has three modes, one mode for acupuncture points, another mode to torch locally, and a third mode for pulse. Batteries are different. But, I mean, if you have this torch, this torch will just do you good. Don't worry about it. And I'm, I'm sure you're thinking, yeah, but why did Dr. Brad McLaren back then didn't make a torch with two, with two modes or three modes or whatever? Well, you know it's just like me. I mean, when I was born, TV was black and white. Then we get color TV. Then we get LCD TV. Then we get LED TV. It's progress. It's called progress. And things that I've been able to do in 2000, early, well, no, I, I developed it in, at the end of 2016 and it came on the market in February 2017. It already has been copied in America by the American company, all students of Brian who have been copying uh, all uh, what he did in the past. It, it's okay, that doesn't matter. Fact is, is we can do now things that Brian wasn't able to do nine years ago. Okay, he developed these torches in 2009, 2010. First, you had this big green, uh, gray one with uh, a button to pulse in, and people complained about it. they didn't want to pulse it in to have it work. So then he changed it to this. Um, back then, we didn't have the options that we have right now. Every year, things are changing. Every year, it becomes more and more easy. Okay, okay. Rose, I I heard you are bringing out new easy to print to print out book versions of several information packs. I already have the old version. Do I have to buy it again, or can I give the old one back and get the new version? Okay, don't take it wrong. And 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 I looked up uh, the paper with the prices and everything, and I just want to make something clear. And what I want to explain is two parts. I can buy now a car, whatever the car, uh, a Jeep, from Jeep, and next month they are coming out with a new version. I can't bring the car back. Even though I bought it today and tomorrow or next week or next month the new model comes out, I can't give my car back and ask, oh no, I want the new one. Well, I could, I could ask it, but I'll have to pay more money probably to get it so that's just one idea in general to have okay the other thing is the following i looked up the prices and i've talked about this before i have here the original price list yeah it's with uh crayon because i had to um bring it from australian dollars to euros the original dog horse human usb stick and you remember in the past, before before I, I continued, in the past, when you would buy, you would buy these little information sticks. They were 130 Australian dollars, plus 60 to send to you. That's 190 uh, Australian dollars, and I have here the link. That's 119 euros. Okay, now I'm looking for you because I've lost... <laughs> I've lost you. So now that was what you had to pay in the past, 119 euros or 190 Australian dollars. That's what the information pack of horse, of human, of dog costed. Costed. I am asking you instead of those 100, what is it again? Let me check it again. 119, I was correct. 
Instead of 119, I am asking you 40. That's, that's about 30%. 30% of the original price. That's what I'm asking. And you can download it instantly. There is nothing to be sent off. There are no shipping costs or anything. I'm asking 30% of the original price. That's one thing. The torches, they used to cost 580 Australian dollars. And that's, that's even the old version because I see here with the 60 shipping. No, the last few years it was 75 shipping. Okay. So from over 400 euros, I've given you the option of a torch of 127, which has now become 147. And the other of 277. There is only a maximum that I can do. And so I, I am sorry, but no, if you in the past have bought the USB or the uh, information pack through my website, you cannot give it back to me and I will give you the other version. But what you should know is the following. There is an easy way to do this yourself. You upload all the, all the booklets to, in, uh, in your uh, PDF, in Adobe PDF. You combine all the files into one file. You remove the pages you don't want, and bang, you have a printable book. That's one solution. Second solution is you go to the booklets that you want to have, print it out because you don't need everything. I mean, some of these, let's say that 60% of the booklets, and I hope 80% of the booklets, you will never need for your horse or your dog or your cat or your cattle or your alpaca or for yourself. Just print out what you need for yourself. And then you remember that the first and second page and the last two pages are always the same. So just tell to your printer, that's easy to do, when you're in the booklet and you say, click on print, you just say page three or page three or four, depending how many pages there are in between with the specific points of the specific ailments that you want to have printed out, okay? What I am willing to do though, is for everybody who bought through my website, meaning who have bought the downloadable version of information packs and you want to have the easy to print out book the way I have made it, you can send me an email and I will send you a voucher so you can buy the new version with a discount that I'm willing to do. But please, I mean, I'm already asking a fraction of the price of what it costed just because I want everybody to be able to get them. I want everybody to be able to buy them. That's why I have brought all these prices down. But please don't, don't cut the meat under my skin uh, with this. Okay, I, I do, I, I must impose any, uh, some limits because I, some of you who know me know that I'm very sensitive and I want to save the world and I can't do that. And there's a lot I can't do just because I'm making everything so cheap. I can't live from this, from what I'm doing. I can't. I need to still do another job to make enough money to have food for me and for the animals, the rescue center here, where I'm not getting help. So please, don't, don't insist. Okay? Don't insist on getting more and more and more and more from me. I am already trying to give you everything I can give you. Okay, next question. Uh, Hillary, could you give me the points for laminitis? Thank you. Hillary, the solution is really easy. Either you have a horse information pack, then you go to the booklet of laminitis, and there you will have the points and how it is explained. And even if you don't have the information pack already for the horse, you can go to my YouTube channel. I have put up a bonus that Dr. Brian McLaren used to sell, laminite, laminite, uh, uh, over, about, about laminitis and navicular syndrome or navicular disease. I have made a video of that bonus. I'm not selling it anymore. I'm giving it away for free. 
So go to my YouTube channel, Pathonic Therapy, and look for the video called Lemonitis and Navicular Syndrome. In that video, you will also see exactly what you have to do in case of laminitis and the points they are in there the page with the points you have to do are in there okay so that's the step you'll have to do you have to do a bit of effort eh? and otherwise you just have to buy the horse information pack or you can also just for three euros yes imagine just for three euros you can buy the horse information uh if the horse information booklet on laminitis so it's all up to you okay okay next question oops i clicked on something which i shouldn't have done because now the page has changed okay claudia has anybody had strange effects after being torched okay so claudia is somebody new to uh to photonic therapy and she's also a student of mine and uh, all my students have to start uh red lighting themselves too and do you have strange effects after being torched? Yes. The very first time you can have an effect of headache, but it's in really small amount of cases. I think it's about 2%. People will have a headache. Why is that? That happens to people who have been taking medicine for many years or for a long time, either for many years, a bit of medicine, or a lot of medicine for a short time but a lot of medicine you have lots of toxins in you and by torching yourself the standard points these toxins want to get out and they can produce a headache we normally don't say that to the people why is that because one it will do no harm that's one thing but secondly the problem is if you tell people oh it's possible you're gonna get a headache well, many people are going to get a headache because you said so, even though they didn't get a headache, okay? Placebo effect and, and, and being informed that this could happen. They're already thinking, oh, maybe this is happening to me and so on. So, yes, you can have that strange effect that the first time that you torch yourself, you say, ooh, what's going on with me? I feel different, okay? And then there is also another effect that you can have, and that is when you would be torching or red lightning, uh, um, a, a chronic situation because you see when is your body working when is your body trying to heal you or heal whatever has to be healed that is when it's in an acute phase so if you have a chronic situation so let's take my situation I have uh, chondromalacia patellar in my both knees I've been needing a uh, prothesis for the last 10 years. I still don't have them. I have pathology therapy that saves me every time again. I'm too young to have prothesis, so I don't want them. Anyways, um, fact is, I have a chronic situation. As soon as I am going to torch that chronic situation for the first time, I am waking that situation up, meaning I am making from a chronic situation an acute situation so suddenly i am going to have more pain that is normal and that only happens just when you reactivate it when you make it acute again because then the signals that by stimulating those specific acupuncture points the 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 signals is going to give to the brain is to act again as if it's an acute situation that is why with acupuncture or phthalonic therapy, it is in fact the same, only acupuncture uses needles and we use a specific red light to stimulate, in both cases, acupuncture points. If you stimulate the correct acupuncture points for your condition and, and take care of the origin too, then you can make even a situation that's chronic, acute again, and stimulate the body to heal that problem. Now, this can happen in many cases, it can't happen in every case. Meaning, this can happen with arthritis. You can stimulate the body again or through the brain to heal that situation. But when once you have arthrosis, you have deformation of the bone. Okay, so that deformation is not gonna disappear. Still, you are going to give so much quality of life that you or that animal are not going to be suffering from that pain. And I mean, I have here on the road next to me, 
three dogs that are going to be 13 this year. Um, one has um, deformation of the elbows, hernias in lumbar 11 and 12, uh, no, 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 in thoracical 11, 12, 13, no, not 13, lumbar, lumbar 1, and in cervical, if I remember well, 5 and 6, I think. That dog is without medication. She just gets funny therapy again and again. Okay. The other one, uh, Tommy has been paralyzed two years ago, 2017, after an operation on his spine. He walked again within three weeks, and probably all of you know Shein. Or if you don't know her, uh, I, I need to make a recap of her situation. She was 100% paralyzed in November 2018 with meningitis, with uh, kennel cough, with bronchitis, with inner bleedings, and so on. All healed, thanks to the help of my vet, of course. Uh, but uh, with phototherapy. And, of course, I am also taking care of them through their nutrition, the yin and yang nutrition. Taking care of that, too, is important. Okay, let me see. Deb. Deb is saying, I've been torturing myself with regards to anxiety, phob phobias, etc. And I do not feel better. I don't believe I had the points incorrect, but it's possible. Deb is also quite new to phototherapy. I have been working on leaky gut issues the last couple of years, and I've also been told that this issue is causing anxiety, as well as skin and food sensitive issues. So, could you please tell me what points for the abdomen I should be doing? I've not been feeling very well, and I would appreciate your help. Okay, so, let me give you an example. My example from a, a, very, a, a past very far away. I used to have migraines, severe migraines, and I, would be, I wouldn't be able to do anything with those migraines. And when the headache would come up, I would torch myself, the, the headache would go away. The migraines were really very tough before, I, I mean, in the 80s and 90s, before I even uh, knew about phytonic therapy. And uh, what I did find out is that when uh, I get a headache, now that I have the torch, when I get a headache, if I torch the headache points, point, my headache will go, go away, but two days later, I would have a headache again. What? What are you telling to me? Meaning, photonic therapy doesn't work? Yes, it does work. But, in this case, I am treating or torching the symptoms. I have a headache, I'm torching the headache points, so my headache goes away. But if my headaches come back, and I can tell you, I was in hospital for my headaches in the past, okay? They even searched for brain tumors and so on because of my headaches. They already had done every uh, allergy test to lactose and whatever, and I was allergic to nothing. Well, what I did do was the following. So I kept uh, an agenda for two weeks. And on the left side of the page, I would write down everything I would be eating with the hour, everything I would be eating, everything I would be drinking, the whole day I would write it down. And on the right side of the page, I would write down what was happening to me, how I was feeling. Yeah, it's like keeping a journal, how I was feeling. When I was going to the toilet, when I was going to the toilet, was it normal or not? So I kept that journal for two weeks. And after two weeks, I went back to look at it. So don't look at it every day, just do this for two weeks and then you go back. And after two weeks, I went back and I discovered that every day that I had my headaches or migraine attacks, I had been eating cheese, yogurt, or drinking milk, for example, as breakfast. Yeah? Or I had eaten white sugar. When I did this, I had my headaches. Yes, photonic therapy can help me relieve those headaches. But if the next day I'm going to eat that cheese again, I'm going to have a headache again. It's not that photonic therapy isn't working. It's that the origin of my problem is, is that my body cannot deal with lactose, even though I was in the hospital, even though the doctor said, yeah, you can eat uh, 
cheese and everything, there is no problem. My body told me I couldn't deal with it. My body reacted by giving me a headache because all the energy was going to the stomach to try to digest that cheese or that milk or that yogurt or the white sugar. So, yes, I can use phototherapy for my problem of my headaches. But if I'm not dealing with the origin of my problem, then your problem is going to come back again and again and again. So I'm not saying that that's the case with Deb. Okay, Debbie, I'm not saying that's the case with you. But it is an explanation. So if you have leaky guts, I'm not going to make publicity for anybody. But I do have all these books. I do want you to check out uh, uh, a man, and, and he's also on Facebook, and it's called The Medical Medium. He has a, a book that's talking and explaining a lot about leaky gut, and also explaining what you should eat and what you shouldn't eat. Okay? If leaky gut is the origin of your problem, of your anxiety and everything, Although photonic therapy will be able to help you temporarily, if you don't change, if you don't stop eating what you shouldn't be eating and so on, and your leaky gut continues, you are going to have the problem again and again. So photonic therapy, in major, we are using it just to, to torch the symptoms. Okay, like in my case, I was torching or redlining my headache points. Okay, so that my headache would go away. But if I don't deal with the origin of my problem, which is cheese and white sugar and so on, every time I will eat that, I will have my headache again. So it's not a mention that photonic therapy doesn't work. Yes, it does. But you have to work at the origin of your problem too. Now, the second part of your question was, uh, what points for the abdomen should I be doing? That's, that's not the question you have to ask yourself. What you should do is you torch the symptoms at this moment. Okay? You, so you torch yourself. If you have uh, constipation, you take the constipation points. If you have diarrhea, you torch the points for diarrhea. If you have a headache, you torch the points for the headache. But what photonic therapy also is telling you is that the objective is always again and again is that your first step is to go to a doctor or a vet and find out what the origin of the problem is and take care of the origin of the problem. Because if you don't, just like with me, if today I'm going to eat cheese, in three hours or three hours after I've eaten cheese, I'm going to have my headache again because my body can't deal with that. So Deb, please do the red lighting, your standard points every two days, keep on doing that. Uh, do your points for anxiety and phobias. Please look at, and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get up just to prove it to you. Hold on. I'm going to get those books. I'm just going to show it to you. I'm just going to show them to you. And no, I'm not an affiliate. And no, whatever. So this is the book of Medical Medium where he will explain you a lot about leaky gut and, and whatever it inhales and where it's coming from. And he has books also about life-changing foods. Have a look in there. You can find a lot of information just on the internet, on Google. You can find a lot of information on, um, on his Facebook page, on, uh, in his videos that he's doing. And he also has the book about thyroid healing. I mean, the recipes in here are incredible. I mean, I really love them. I've done a lot of them. Tyrant healing, that's for later on too in another question. But keep on doing what you're doing and try to f find out what the origin of the problem is and do that. Then we will have a chat in private next week. We will try to talk to each other again. It didn't work out yesterday, but I'm sure it will happen next week. Okay, next question. Uh, Jan, I have a mare with facial paralysis on the right side. No idea what she did, no marks on her. She has regained movement of the ear and blinking of the eyelid. Her lip continues to droop 
Like she is on, like she is on Nova, okay. Nova, okay. Where would I use the torch to treat her? Jan, you have the information packs. You just have to go to the human information pack and there is a booklet that's called Bell Pacey or Facial Paralysis. And there the points are explained of the which you can then just transpose on the horse. There are the same names of the points, the same location of the point. You just transpose them and you torch them. But there is a but. With facial paralysis, the sooner you start, the better it is. And that's not also a bit for, for, uh, with facial paralysis. That's in general with everything. The sooner you start, the less the less uh, problems you will have, and the sooner it will heal. Uh, if this is a chronic problem with your horse, it will take a very long time. But it it can get better, and we have specific uh, acupuncture points that can help with the healing process. But it's really important. The sooner you start, the better it is. I'm going to give you again another. Uh, example I use this in in every of my webinars and it's the following I always have my pocket torch with me well to be honest I most of the time even have the pro torch with me but I have a pocket torch in the car I have a pro torch in my in my uh, bag with me when I go sh shopping for the animals or whatever yes I don't like to shop so I mean I'm going to buy food and everything uh, for the animals my animals, uh, the, the dogs, and, and even the cats, uh, they eat mostly fresh. So I have to go to the butcher to get the, the fresh uh, meat often. Uh, anyways, what I wanted to say is the following. If meanwhile I'm, I'm walking and I trip and I hurt my ankle. If I take my torch out of my pocket and I torch my ankle immediately without even knowing the points, if I just torch locally on my ankle immediately, well, within the minute, torch my ankle, my ankle will not swell up as much, will not become as blue as much. And if my ankle is not broken, within 10 minutes, I am walking home. And yes, this has happened to me before and more than once <laughs> uh, the fact is is if I hurt my ankle and my torch is lying at home and I can't do nothing my torch will start to swell up immediately my torch what am I saying my ankle will swell up immediately my ankle will become blue and my ankle will become so painful that maybe for the next week or two I will be walking with a stick to help me because it's hurting so much and that is where I want to put the attention to, is whatever is going on, the quicker you start torching yourself or the animal, the quicker the healing and the less consequences you will have. It's the same with an accident and there's a cut. If you torch immediately to stop bleeding points, your animal or yourself will hardly lose blood. But if you have to run home, or to the stables to go and get your torch. By that time, your animal or yourself, well, depending also on the animal, uh, a cat bleeding and a horse bleeding is totally different because the amount of blood will be a lot more. But I mean, you reduce the chances because you didn't start immediately. So nowadays, most of the time, most people are buying the, the pro and pocket torch together. They have the pocket torch always with them wherever they go. Even if you go horse riding, the pocket torch just fits in your in your jeans in the front pocket. It's so small. But at least you will have something with you at all times in cases of emergencies. And the pro torch then stays home for the rest of the family or stays at the stable in case your horse has a, has a colic. If your horse has colic, you do not want to lose two hours to go and drive home to get your torch and then go and drive to your horse to help him. No, if your horse is having colic signs or whatever emergency, you want to be able to torch them immediately. The quicker you start red lightning, the better their chances and the quicker they will we will relieve their pain. So it's really important. So, Jan, go to the booklet of facial paralysis. La Luna, will the carpal tunnel points treat carpal tunnel syndrome that originates from tightness and knots in the scapula region, not caused by repetitive strain? La Luna, 
we are dealing with the symptoms. You have diarrhea, do diarrhea points. You have constipation, you do the constipation points. No matter what the origin is. You have carpal tunnel syndrome, you do the points for carpal tunnel syndrome. Treating against symptoms. But remember always, just like with any other example, what is the reason, what's the origin of the problem? Take care of that too. But that doesn't have to be with clinical therapy. You understand? Just like with the example that I've just been given before, with the cheese. Okay? The cheese is my origin of my headaches. I torch myself for the headaches. It doesn't matter where my headache is coming from. I do the headache points for my headache. But I have to take care of the origin of my problem too. So if you're having a problem from the scapular region because you're holding yourself the wrong way or you're doing a wrong movement, take care of that movement for the, food, for the future. Okay. Will the hoop disorder points treat trash and... Hold on. That's one page. I don't see the second page. Uh, will the disorder points treat trash and CD toe in the equine? No. It's as simple as that. Why? First of all, trash is a bacterial infection. It's a bacteria that's inside there. That's the origin of the problem. Yes, there are points that will help your horse. Standard points, for example, hoof disorder points will help your horse. But as long as the bacteria is inside there, which is the origin of your problem, it will come back again and again. Im imagine your trash is like my cheese. My cheese is giving me the headaches. Your trash is giving your horse the problem. It's a bacterial infection. You have to take care of the bacterial infection. And with the CD2, yes, photonic therapy will help. Photonic therapy, you can do hoop disorder points. It will help. But you will need a farrier to clean up those hooves. And you will have to take care of having um, a very clean environment because you know in which cases uh, white line disease and everything happens. So uh, you, it's not like saying, okay, you know what? If you're doing the hoop disorder points, you can just leave your horse standing. I'm not talking about you now, Laluna. I'm talking in general, okay? You just can leave your horse standing in the mud, standing in the shit, and don't worry about it. Photonic therapy will take care of it. No! Photonic therapy will help the horse getting better, getting stronger, stronger uh, helping his immune system and, and, and the hoof disorders. Yes! But you still, for your trash infection, it's a bacterial infection. You need to take care of that bacteria. And on the other hand, for your CD2, you need a good farrier who's going to clean up the case, is going to clean up the situation. Yeah. And then what you can, for example, use, you can make uh, also um, a combination of uh, white sugar together with iodine. Make a mixture of that. Put it in, in uh, the spots uh, for your trash and then bandage the horse. That will help him too. But you need to take care of what's the origin of the problem. Okay. Miriam, I have a horse with, we think is a dust allergy. What can I do to help him? He coughs a lot when it is very dry and has a dirty nose. The vet was already here, but can't help, can't really help him. So he says, we, hold on, let me, we also make the hay wet before he gets it. Okay. Okay, so that's her first question. What I would do is standard points. Make sure this is a chronic situation. Make sure you do the standard points every two days without forgetting it. Every two days for at least four to six weeks. And on the other hand, you could do, depending on what it resembles, you could do the asthma points or you could do the bronchitis points. Both of them will help with uh, his lungs and so on. Um, it's important indeed, it's good to uh, wet the hay. Make sure don't, that you don't give it wet, wet to him, that you let it drip it out. But it's good that you avoid to have the dust uh, near him. Okay? So, and the second question, we think there is some sort of mole of bacteria going around at our barn. For now, my horses are not infected, but is there anything I can do to help them not to get it. 
if I, uh, if they get it and if they get it what i don't hope what points or place to torch locally should i use the cat the vet keeps an eye on the horses okay first of all you are talking about some sort of mold or bacteria photonic therapy is not going to avoid a bacteria coming on your horse okay uh, it's not going to avoid mold coming on your horse. It's your horse that's going to be in contact with that. That's one thing. If it's a bacteria, you need a vet to remove the bacteria. You have to know what kind of bacteria it is. And if necessary, yes, you will have to give antibiotics, depending on what kind of bacteria it is. Nevertheless, at the same time, now that your horses are still healthy, you want to be torching them and torching them and torching them again and again, the standard points every two days without forgetting it because you want to be building up their immune system their atp system their adenosine triphosphate system so that their bottles are filled up that whatever is going to happen the armies in the body in the cells are ready to fight off any intrusion any attack the only way you're going to do that is by building up the immune system of your horse when it's going to happen if they get the problem with that well you need your vet to take care of the problem and keeping your horses in a moldy situation that's a no-no it's a no-no for humans but it's a no-no for animals uh, too okay mold is so much so so what the worst you can imagine you do not want to have that okay so uh, watch out now if you are talking about a virus okay like the equine virus disease you are just fine with photonic therapy you have the specific points for equine virus uh, infection in the booklets uh, with the emergency points okay it's all in the horse information packs but even if your horse doesn't have uh, uh, the equine virus disease remember acupuncture traditional chinese medicine photonic therapy in first and foremost, we want to work preventively. That means we want to avoid our animals getting sick. So what do we do? You torch the uh, standard points, okay? And once after a few weeks, if you're just starting with phenotropy, torch those points every two days for a few weeks. And then you go from every two days to every three days for a week or two. Then for a week or two, twice a week, for a week or two, once a week, and then maintenance, health maintenance is just once every two weeks. I mean, once you know the points to do on your horse, it will take you two minutes, two minutes every two days for, for the, for, to torch your horse. And you will make him as strong as he can be and have no pain and feel great and have a good brain and not be aggressive or anxious or whatever photonic therapy is giving you the everything on on, on a little blade on a little plate that's better <laughs> hold on let me just drink because it's getting dry again we're giving you everything on a little plate we are not vets and we do not pretend to be vets and we don't do not pretend to treat or heal or whatever we always say please go to the vet or go to your doctor and find out what's going on with you and then take care of the origin of the problem and meanwhile you can torch uh standard points or specific points of the symptoms you are showing but in the first place we do want to avoid getting sick so i at the moment i'm quite fine but i am still torching my standard points because I do not want to get the flu. I do not want to get a throat infection. I do not want to get whatever. I am just building up my immune system to be so strong that whatever attack is going to come, I can tell you, hey, my body is strong enough to fight against it. If I get a bacteria, it's another case. I will still have to go to the vet. Oh, to the vet. No, I'm a human. <laughs> I will have to go to the doctor, okay, to, uh, to get whatever is needed. But it hardly ever happens with me anymore. Thanks for me torching myself. And you can make it a habit. I had that problem myself. I mean, uh, I'm really well to be red lighting everybody whenever they need it. And I would go to bed at night and I would forget to do it. 
And I would say, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, and I'll do it tomorrow, and I'll do it tomorrow. And then suddenly I become tired because I'm working a lot of hours every day, even in the weekends. I don't really have weekends. And um, I felt myself becoming a bit more weak. I said, ooh, I have to be careful. If I feel something is coming up, I know I have forgotten to touch myself. So now I have made a habit to not put on my socks in the morning. It's winter over here in Spain. Yes, we do need socks. And I, before I dress in the morning, I will touch myself. That's it. Okay, let me go to the page where everybody is and let's see what kinds of questions have arrived. Uh, Christine, what's the effect on the ward of the red torch? You mean of the red light? Uh, on the ward, it depends what kind of ward it is. If it's a normal ward, uh, I've seen some of them become smaller, but it, it all depends. So, for example, uh, if we talk about horses of melanomas, uh, if the melanomas are small, we can still make them smaller and even make them disappear. No, it's not hocus pocus. It's the clients that have told us so, okay? But uh, uh, for the rest, I've never even tried it on a human ward. I wouldn't know. If you have human spots, no, what's that? What am I talking about? If you have spots that are in another color, yes, you can try it. We have had success with that too, but that's something else. Christine, I know it's not a cure, but is it going to make a difference? And in, uh, but it, is it going to make a difference? Yes, absolutely. Uh, Christine, I don't un un understand your question because you have told me already that it has made a huge difference with your dog who couldn't get up earlier because of his arthritis in his hips, I think he was, and now he can. So you know it makes a difference. And I just want to say thank you for saying the function of the two intensities again. It's three intensities, three modes. Just go back to the beginning of this uh, live and you will hear it again. Christine, I totally agree that the blue torch is very versatile. Well, you have a blue one. Mine is a purple one here, <laughs> the, 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 pocket, uh, the pro torch. Um, the more I use it, the more I discover its benefits. Yes, exactly. Ex uh, example, calming points, headache points. And since before Christmas, I have rechar recharged it only once and used it on me, my dog, and my husband. Yeah. I mean, we have a really big, strong uh, battery inside here that doesn't go down slowly. No, it gives everything it has. And at the end, suddenly it will say puff, and then you have to recharge it. Okay, hi, Kat, uh, hi, Katty. Nice to see you here. Okay, good explanation going from chronic to acute. Yeah. Okay, Katty is asking, I'm dealing with a painful skin condition, which is a chronic autoimmune thing. I will continue with my physician's prescription steroid, steroid, steroid. <laughs> But we'll experiment with the red light and hope the best at suppressing it. Um, Kathy, maybe we should have a, a private chat. Okay, maybe we should have a private chat to talk about this because you do not want to use uh, phototherapy to suppress it or medication to suppress it. We want to use it to bring healing, okay, to bring healing to the problem that you're having. But from the information that you're giving me, it's not enough. Uh, so maybe uh, I think you have one of my torches so you will also have two online uh, free sessions with me where we can talk and have a chat and with my team so if you want to just contact me in private for an appointment next week and uh, we'll have a chat okay oh I see some of my friends have joined and some of my students have joined well always nice to see you here well, that is for the moment the questions I have received for this week. And if there aren't any other questions, let me have a look here. If anything has arrived. No, no more questions. Well, in that case, if there are no more questions, I say, yeah, what was I going to say? I was going to say something, <laughs> but it was not a good idea. Anyways, uh, have a great weekend. Uh, take enough time to relax and make sure you keep on torching those points. That's the only way to go. Bye-bye.